okay our initial task is to get the update onto the ESX box itself so if you log in with the VI client select the ESXi host configuration storage now I've only got one piece of storage on here data store one right click it and select browse data store now I've already got a foot you'll have a lot more in yours but I've only got one folder on here called update that I want to put the update into. So upload the file. There it is on my computer. This will take a while to upload. I've speeded it up dramatically. And there's the update on my ESXi box. Remember, it's in a folder called update and it's in data store 1. An update is an uppercase. So now I'm going to SSH into my ESXi4 box. If you don't know how to do that, see the link up on the screen there. Now, the first command I'm going to execute is ls-l forward slash vmfs volumes, and this will show us all the sim links for what volumes you have. I only have one, and there it is. That stupid long number there is a sim link. You need to copy and paste that to Notepad because we're going to need that in a minute. Now I'm going to put this ESX I box into maintenance mode using that command there. And next, this big ridiculous command will extract the update. Remember that's dash dash bundle equals forward slash then the path then the name space stage again I'll put all these commands on the website so you can just copy and paste them and put your own symlink numbers in extracting it is reasonably quick the next thing execute the same command but with update on the end of it Now this can take quite some time and it involves a lot of pregnant pauses and I've speeded it up. When it's finished it'll say the update has completed successfully and it will ask you to reboot. Simply type in reboot. And there's our A6i box. Down and back up again. And you'll notice now if you look across the top we're at version 4.1.0. The last thing we're going to need to do is to take it out of main mode. Now you can do this from the VI client, but I'm going to do it from SSH. However, because you're now at 4.1, you need to go in and turn SSH on. If you go down to troubleshooting options, you need to go to enable remote tech support for SSH and press enter. Now I can log in via SSH. You notice the banner's a little different. And finally, I'm going to take us out of maintenance mode just to check that's worked. Log back into the VI client, and you'll notice once again across the top there the ESXi version is now at 410 in the build number. And finally, at the bottom, we've exited maintenance mode. That's us done and dusted. Don't forget to visit us at www.peatnetlive.com.